Hi guys, Chris here from A Couple of Drips Podcast. Um, I've put something together that some of you might find useful if you've recently picked up the Insta360 Link webcam. It's an AI tracking webcam uh, with a motorized gimbal that you can either control with uh, on-screen gestures uh, or you can control with buttons or you can manually steer it if you want. It can do things like follow you around the room. Particularly useful uh, if you are doing something like working on Zoom or Teams calls all day like I do uh, or if you're a regular or professional streamer. So it's a little bit pricey but if you're getting a lot of use out of it it's probably worth the investment. The camera did some very nice things. As I said, it's got AI tracking, uh, so it can follow you around the room, zoom in on you automatically, and so on and so forth. So what I thought about putting together uh, for all the keyboard shortcuts was a Stream Deck profile. This is for the Stream Deck Excel. Uh, only developed it for that at the moment, I'm afraid, because I don't have the other Stream Decks to try it on. Uh, but um, it's working on the Stream Deck Excel. If, you, if you'd like to get hold of this, you can pick it up uh, for a small donation on um, Kofi, that's ko-fi.com forward slash couple of drips. I'll put the link below in the description. But uh, it encompasses all of the shortcuts uh, for the camera. Um, so uh, we have a uh, switch for desktop mode, which is currently on because that's what I'm using it in to show you this. Uh, we've got a switch for overhead mode and whiteboard mode on and off. And obviously these change states from red to green uh, as they switched on and off. Um, don't know if you can make out the colors there, but um, we've got a switch here to minimize and maximize the toolbar. Uh, and then switch to turn the AI face tracking on and off there. Uh, reset button in the middle. And then these are navigation keys for steering the camera's gimbal manually. Uh, and then we've got a uh, zoom out button and a zoom in button, uh, depending on uh, where you want to uh, position the camera. Um, at the top, if you're lucky enough to own three of them, there are devices to switch between uh, three cameras so you could control uh, each camera individually with the software uh, and then um, on this side here at the top I'm doing this upside down so it's difficult to point out there's just a uh, a button there to launch the app that's just my home button I always go death star for the home button uh, but that's just to launch the uh, app if you don't already have the app uh, running when you do this profile and then last but by no means least of course if you have the gimbal in preset positions here are the six uh, presets that you can use a define to uh, position the gimbal uh, where you like so if there's a particular part of the room you you're always standing in or there's like you've got a mixing desk or something you want the camera to point on, you can just hit those. So this is for the Insta360 Link camera and the Stream Deck XL. So if you have that combination and you like it, pop over to ko-fi.com forward slash couple of drips. Links in the description below. Uh, and uh, pick this up for, uh, for however much you can afford. Um, thanks very much. If you like it, please let me know in the comments. If you don't, if you want, uh, anything different doing with the profile let me know uh, if by any chance Kofi scrambles the file as you download it uh, then just uh, rename the file to be in the same as a normal Stream Deck profile or failing that uh, just drop me an email there's a link on Kofi and I can always send you uh, an unadulterated version of the file okay thanks a lot guys hope you like it I uh, look forward to seeing your comments and have a great day Cheers.